Hey guys, welcome to another video. Merry Christmas from all of us here at That's right, I am Dave Shaves. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell icon for notifications. If you feel so inclined, hit me up on social media, at The Dave Shaves. Hit me up on facebook.com and patreon.com slash The Dave Shaves. And hit me up on the web at thedaveshaves.com. All right, so happy holidays, Merry Christmas, all of the above, and a very happy new year. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you all are having a happy whatever holiday you choose to celebrate. I know a lot of them don't necessarily fall today, especially this year. So for all of you out there who are celebrating today, Merry Christmas. To the rest, happy holiday of your choosing. All right, so today we're just doing a regular shave. I am getting back to the double-edged razor, as I said. So let's go ahead and take a look at the razor we're gonna be using today. That razor is my Black Beauty, Gillette Black Beauty. We are pairing that today with my Gillette Nasset blade. I love the Gillette Nasset, it's a good blade. I don't use it very often on camera, but I love it. So let's go ahead and just take that right out of its little sheath thing here. We're just gonna take that and we're gonna pop it right on here in the butterfly open. For the Black Beauty, we're gonna close it right on up. Oh, and for those that are curious, I did go ahead and put it on setting five today. And I did that because I do have a lot of growth going on. So it seemed like a higher setting was needed today. So that's what we're doing. All right, we are going to be using for the brush, my Tatara Boar's Hair brush. We're gonna be using today for soap, some Chiseled Face Santa Paula Shade Soap. Looks like a citrusy soap, so there we go. And we got a little bit of that right in there. And we're gonna be finishing up today with Duke Cannon Supply Company Aftershave Balm, Ice Cold, and Aqua Velva Classic Ice Blue. All right, so that's what we're doing today. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of water in here because it is a harder soap. So I know I've had the brush soaking for a while, but let's go ahead and just put a little bit of soap of water in that soap just to let it soften up a bit or bloom, as we say. All right. So um, let's go ahead without further ado. I did already shower, as you can tell by the wet hair, and I did go ahead and use my typical face wash. So let's go ahead and just Moisten up the bristles of the of my beard or the hair on my beard. Um, and then we're going to use my Vaseline aftershave lotion. Bear with me here just a second. Let that heat up a little bit. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and use my lotion. Let's go ahead and get this lathered up, shall we? There is a lot of water in that, but there's also a lot of soap, so I don't think that's gonna be an issue. Just gotta keep it going a bit. It's gonna take a while to get everything lathered up, because right now it is very, 
very thin, very frothy. I guess there was probably more water in this brush than I'd given it credit for, so I probably didn't necessarily need to bloom this so much. But it's not a big deal. Like I said, just gotta lather it a bit more than I typically would. It's getting there. It's taken a while for it to get to the proper consistency. It was very waterlogged. It was definitely a very, it's gonna be a bit of a wetter lather. Um, and it is actually gonna take almost all the soap just to get this the right consistency. So that's, that's my bad. That's my bad. But we are lathering. We are getting a nice consistency. It is firming up here nicely. All right. So let's just go ahead and apply a good portion of this. My mirror is actually fogging up a bit, so I guess I didn't let enough of the moisture out. So I'm gonna open this door just a tad, just to let some of the air from outside in, clear it up a little bit. Also cool it down a little bit in here. We did get a nice lather on there, perfect. All right, and let's just go ahead and wipe down this mirror a bit. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and go in four pass one. Seems like setting five was the name of the game because it is taking off the hair nicely. You can probably see it already just in that one section. So setting five was the way to go. Yeah, as you can see, setting five with the Nasset blade really knocked down that first layer of growth nicely. I mean, I was pretty overgrown. I hadn't shaved in a while. So you, you could definitely see the growth. So I'm sure you all can see how much it took it down. So that's nice. Black Beauty is a nice razor. Pair it with a nice Gillette Nasset. Works great. Absolutely fantastic. That's a lot of hair it took off. If I could move the camera, I'd show you in the sink. It's There's a decent amount. All right. 
let's reapply for pass two. It is a very wet lather, but it's working well, so it's not too terrible. I'm getting a nice layer on. It's not like it's dissipating as soon as I put it on, so that's good. I think I'm finally getting to a good part, a good point with this brush. This brush took a long time for it to get well used, I guess, um, or primed or whatever the hell you want to call it. Because the first number of times I used it, I wasn't, it wasn't staying moist. Like it was, it was just eating up the water. So I tend to use a little extra water and I guess I'm getting to the point now where I don't need to use that extra water right now. So that's, it's definitely a good thing. Pass two. Not too bad. So what are y'all doing for the holidays? Do you guys, are you guys with family today? What do you got going on? Let me know. Comments below. Let me know. Let me know. Also, as always, I like knowing what people think of the products I'm using. Most of you volunteer that information anyway. But definitely, just in case you need reminding, put it in the comments below. Let me know about what you feel about the Black Beauty, what you feel about the Nasset. Have you tried the, uh, the Chiseled Face Santa Paula? Shave soap. I seem to like it. It, got, it builds a nice lather. It's got a nice scent to it. And of course, the Duke Cannon Ice Cold Balm and, and Aqua Velva, all just fantastic products in my book, at least. So let me know. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Comments below. Let me know. And again, you know, what are you doing for the holidays? Also, how are you doing? I know seasonal depression is real, and I know a lot of my people. <coughs> I know a lot of my people suffer from depression as it is, so comments below. Let me know. Make sure you're doing okay. Check in with me. Um, I'm doing okay for the most part. I'm a little lonely. Um, I'm lonely right now, so that's that's a thing. Um, I mean, I'm Jewish, so Christmas wasn't always a big thing, but I usually did something, you know, Chinese food, movies, you know, stereotypical Jew stuff. <laughs> um, so, but, you know, I'm alone, but my, uh, one of my best friends in the absolute world, uh, Sam, you've heard me mention her numerous times. She is actually coming down with her family. They're coming in tonight. They're only staying the night, but I get to spend Christmas night and Christmas evening with them. So I can't really complain. Um, and then a couple other things have happened that have actually started to go my way recently. So, um, it's a thing. <laughs> um, but it's, it's good, actually. Life is good. Now, if only I could get finances under control, then I would be a happy man. For those that are going through a divorce, you know that 
or have gone through a divorce, we know that separating finances and making sure you are financially stable is not always an easy feat. So it's something I'm dealing with right now. Luckily, my soon-to-be ex-wife is, she's amazing. She, re she really is. It's got nothing, our divorce had nothing to do with with that. There was never a lack of love. It just sometimes love isn't always enough. It's also sometimes a, a lack of the right kind of love. And I don't really know what all the issues were, but you know, Things happen. So that's what we're dealing with right now. But, you know, despite all that, I'm actually doing quite well right now. So that's, you know, that's good. That's definitely good. I have my moments. Um, I'm a little sad because uh, we had actually planned a road trip that she ended up going on anyway with, with our niece. Um, it was going to be the three of us. But it ended up being, you know, just them. So... Which, good for them. They don't get much time together, just the two of them. So I think that that's good for both of them. I'm just a little sad that I'm not going on it. But it's all right. Okay. Not a bad shave. Actually, really good shave. Very good shave. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. All right. I knew I'd get a good shave out of this. And it did not disappoint. Black Beauty setting five with a Nasset. On almost a week's worth of growth or more. I actually don't remember the last time I shaved. I don't think it was quite a week. Was it a week? Honestly, do not remember. If it hasn't been a week, it was certainly close too. Okay, so let's go ahead and rub on some Duke Cannon aftershave ice cold balm. And I don't really feel bad using this today because it is actually warm today. It's in the 70s here, which isn't hot, mind you, but it's warmer than it's been. We, we were like in the 40s recently, so it warmed up like 30 degrees. It's insane. Like we had a massive cold front and then just warmed up to the 70s. Bipolar weather, I'll tell you what, bipolar weather. All right, let's go ahead and splash on some aqua velva. How's the weather been by you? Where are you guys located, you know? Is the weather nice? Is it snowy? Is it, is it hot? Let me know, comments below. All right, not too shabby, not too shabby at all. All right, I hope you all enjoyed this video. As always, I definitely enjoyed making it. If you're watching this video and you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, you like all my videos, hit that like button, give me some comments below. Ring that bell icon for notifications. If you feel so inclined, hit me up on social media. That's at, that's Twitter, Instagram and Twitter, sorry, at the Dave Shaves. Hit me up on facebook.com slash the Dave Shaves. And again, if you do feel so inclined, hit me up on patreon.com slash the, slash you guessed it, the Dave Shaves. And hit me up on the web at thedaveshaves.com. That's it, of course. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and keep shaving. I'll see you on the next video.